Hi there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'll be doing a few reviews for you today and um, I had a very long hectic day so I look a little bit destroyed. Um, horrible jams, uh, jam situation in Bangladesh right now, especially our capital city Dhaka. Uh, but not, let's not go get in there, let's do some reviews. So first episode I want to do uh, two fragrance reviews in one. I believe these are both women's perfumes perhaps but anybody can wear anything so there's no uh, selective you know gender bias in any fragrances I believe uh, hopefully you're doing good and you can see from title which fragrance they're gonna be so I have both uh, sample one official sample and one official miniature right so I would like to start with the fragrance called Aqua de Parma called Sakura this was a release of 2019 or 20 I forgot which year it was I reviewed quite a few Aqua de Parma in my time and actually it's pleasure to do full bottle review uh, but sometimes when you get official sample you can smell the juice because the fragrance is in there you know you have quite a healthy amount of juice in there. This is a niche house and one of my favorite fragrance house. They do a lot of these fresh perfumes really well. So the name Sakura, you guys know that flower is very popular flower. I never smelled one uh, per, like uh, just uh, clearing the stuff out. Like I never like want to claim, hey, I know Sakura flower like, hey, it smells sweet. It smells like pink pepper. No, uh, I just saw the beautiful flower. This is the picture, but I don't know how Sakura flower smells. But this one, in this one, they give 1.5 ml sample and I believe these are EDP concentration but in most part, let me tell you, the performance are not really EDP in most part. EDP, uh, Aquari Parmas are kind of on the lighter side. So what do you get from this? Basically, they say here it's an uh, artistic combination of olfactive sensation, fresh and delicate scent of Sakura, uh, some uh, luminous citrus notes and then there's jasmine, bergamot, pink pepper and then jasmine sambac, that kind of... Uh, description in different languages okay so this one thankfully is a sprayable a sample i have it on my hand it's already got very uh, mild after 15 minutes or so so i can tell you this one thing performance i'll tell you but let me just fresh spray this a little bit uh this fragrance you know like i i would think like i haven't seen fragrantica like uh, in recent times but i believe this perhaps market towards women uh, you can as a guy you can try it if you like floral perfumes there's a fragrance called sakura from dior Privé collection that i believe they also try to interpret the beautiful pink juice i believe so it's on my hand right now and i love to smell it right up top because this fragrance the top note disappears very quickly and uh, the best part of this fragrance i really enjoyed one of the best aspect is that uh, opening it's beautiful citrus opening and i can definitely tell you this jasmine i uh, reminds me a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, elizabeth arden green tea that kind of jasmine or very nice floral citrus a little bit hint of spicy kick perhaps that pink pepper but mostly that floral notes very big it's a floral perfume and citrusy very easy and it goes really just uh, like how to say introduces itself with so much uh, uh, ease you know it's like so easy to wear it's so much uh, glamour there but it's not overdoing it so some of the fragrances are too overpowering this is not one of them so I like that about this and some of you, if you do not like very loud fragrances, if you like delicate, uh, you know, floral, what's that word that I'm thinking? Uh, I always forget words. <laughs> floral, what's that? Pellets? I, I forgot, you know, that the flowers you take one by one down. Anyway, so yeah, it reminds me of those florals, very de delicate, beautiful florals and it's kind of like a pink, but it's the name of the, or the color of the flower creating that. Absolutely love that opening. It's kind of similar. To many fragrances I smelled before, but it's very nice, clean opening, no alcohol burst. I really like that. So after that, it goes into the jasmine. You know, like I would say it's a jasmine-based perfume, and the sakura I never smells, so I don't know. But definitely, I can smell that jasmine coming up pretty prominent. So citruses go away at that point after 15-20 minutes, which was one of the best uh, attributes of this perfume. I really like the citrusy vibes in this. You can wear this in summer, you know, casually dating scenario, but go heavy on the spray. Perhaps big bottles will give you better longevity. Longevity on this one, just like many other Aqua de Parmas, a little bit disappointing. You know, the price point is going to be definitely $150, $70 like that. Um, multiple bottle size as well. But honestly speaking, some of these darker bottles I reviewed, they did not really give me some of the best performance. So when you talk about performance, these are not something I would uh, say it's something to brag about. But it's decent. On me, it's like three hours and a half. <laughs> Maybe my dry skin, you know, it disappears. But it's a light floral or about it okay so that's the first one aqua di parma sakura give it a try i wouldn't say blind by it but the smell is fantastic i'll give the smell nine performance everything considering price point it's a kind of like a fragrance is 8.5 out of 10 despite longevity is not the best i love the smell so i uh, judge fragrances based on that so 
I would give that 8 out of 10. Aquare Parma, this is called Sakura. That's the official sample review number one. Number two, uh, because I want to save some time, I have quite a few samples. I don't want to do individual reviews. I'm a bit lazy in that way. So if you do watch these reviews, those who are real people, you know, I just, it means a lot to me. Thank you very much for supporting it. Even though if you do a work and the people don't watch, there's no point, right? Second fragrance I want to show you. I reviewed this line before, okay? But not this particular one. This is called Coach Cream Sunset, okay? I think this is a 2021 release on the newer flankers. And these bottles are gorgeous. You know, I have reviewed Coach Dreams, man, such a stunning perfume and I have done some coach floral blush, coach for women. I've done a few coach fragrances. Coach are uh, somewhere in the mid-budget fragrance segment. Like when they come out initially, they're like 85, around $90, but that's just retail. But if you wait for some time, these fragrances will hit the discounters. You can get them within 55 to $65. And I think these bottles, they have different size, but this one I have an official miniature, which is 1.5 ml. It's a splash, okay? Or sorry, no, it's 4.5 mil. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Miniatures are not 1.5. This 4.5, I have the bottle right here. It's a depth sample, sadly. It doesn't have a sprayer, but looks cute. Okay, if you buy a big bottle, I'll put a picture of both these perfumes so you can see. Uh, really stunning presentation. I like Coach. Uh, this one I got while shopping for some perfumes in other retail shops. Thank you so much. Uh, Sandar, actually, let me take the name. Always thank people who it's due. So they gave me these samples too. Uh, enjoy you know or perhaps test so that's a nice gesture whenever you go to a perfume shop if they give you something uh, to review and that aqua di parma was from them right so thanks to sandara uh, sandara is one of the biggest this is the biggest retail in i think one of the biggest in asia right now so what i get from this i have it on my skin uh, something fun about this perfume i absolutely love the opening of it because it, it's kind of troublesome i'll show you why uh, it the cap is really nice but when you take it out there's a it doesn't really open the bottle there's another uh, stopper in there which is good but yeah it's not that difficult to be honest but let me take it out uh, man i hate depth samples i'm just telling you <laughs> it's a bit inconvenient so let's put some of it here if the application wise you know it's, it's a bit inconvenient but i got some on my hand okay enough for me to enjoy and tell you how this smells this smells phenomenal you know it smells beautiful when I smell it, absolute love. There's a beautiful uh, exotic note of something like pear ice cream or something like that. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> that i never seen before. Uh, I can smell pear in this. It's like a sorbet. And it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Trust me, it reminds me of some perfumes. But mostly, it, it's very reminiscent of one fragrance I have in my collection. Lucky for me, I have this bottle. It's called Good Girl, Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. Or even if you ask me, like a summer version is Good Girl. Uh, Leger, okay, Leger or Leger, I don't know. Uh, if you love those fragrances, this is very reminiscent of those. If you go to Fragrantica, they will show similarity, but it has its own character, but it develops to be more like a good girl, but the performance is not as good as good girl, okay? But I would say if you actually like good girl, you can give it a try. It's a more affordable version. Not exactly pinpoint clone. It has some other florals, some sweet uh, notes. Let me check what else they have. They have quite a few gourmand notes, I believe. Yes, pear, ice cream, bergamot, uh, magnolia, jasmine, sambag, yeah, once again, jasmine, vanilla, and tonka beans. Yeah, if you have vanilla, it becomes sort of like a ice cream, tasty ice cream sort of vibe. So it's a sweet perfume. It's a, it's a strong fragrance. Uh, is it masculine? Not as much as Good Girl is. Like some of the women's perfume, like Good Girl, uh, like Flower Bomb, Decadence. What's the other one? Shalimar. Uh, one more. Mm. Some of the female perfume I really like. I think they're really uh, kind of like on the unisex borderline. This one, it's definitely a women's perfume, sweet, sweeter floral side. But if as a guy you want to wear it, you can go, but you'll be a little bit tutti fruity. Okay, so be ready to take that sort of compliments. People might say, hey, you sound, you smell pretty. And you'll be like, you call me pretty? I'm a guy, you know, I, I, I'm not pretty. I'm macho, you know, give me that compliment. People won't give you that. <laughs> I'm just joking, but it's a beautiful perfume. It has a beautiful bottle. I really like the smell. Over a longevity, you can get like five hours, five and a half hours perhaps, but it's just my guy's skin, which is dry. Women have blessed skin. God bless you. You're the best. Uh, so if women wearing it, you know, perhaps on the neck, on the skin combined, maybe they'll get six to seven hours, but on me, it's like around five. So price point is not justified, obviously, if it's retail, but if you can get it like $65, $60, good fragrance i don't know if the bottle size is perhaps it's less than 100 mil but it's a good fragrance i really like it it changes a little bit like a little bit changes it reminds kind of like a green floral 
uh, that vanilla tonka it's sweet perfume it's similar to many other fragrance out there but it's a nice little release not the most original but i'll also give it eight out of ten so coach dream sunset not really seeing the sunset vibe but it's a nice little bottle it's a pretty perfume and i think it's a young fragrance uh, if you're in the teenage years or your early 20s you know uh, 30s it's, it can be a signature and thank you very much for watching time to move on to the second video you do take care i'll see you soon bye bye